Hey everyone, RJ here with CV Tech, and today I'm doing a comparison between the Samsung Galaxy J1 and the LG Optimus Zone 3. These both here are budget phones on Verizon Wireless prepaid, and today I'm going to just kind of do like a comparison versus uh, video, uh, give you some of the specs of both phones, and uh, just kind of open some apps together and just see which one runs faster, open some games up. This is the first time that I've ever done a video like this, so uh, we'll see how it turns out and see what kind of uh, uh, turnout I do get on these kind of videos. So let's go ahead and get started with uh, the comparison between these two phones here. Okay, so here I am now with the Samsung Galaxy J1 and the LG Optimus Zone 3, and uh, I'm going to uh, give you the specs of both of these phones uh, and kind of tell you a little bit about them. Uh, before we get into the test, so let's get started. Uh, looking at the J1 first, the J1 runs Android 5.1.1. Uh, this phone does have a 4.3 inch display at 480 by 800 resolution at 217 pixels per inch. This phone does have a 5 megapixel camera on the rear with LED flash, records in a 720p record in the rear. Also has a 2 megapixel camera here in the front that records in VGA quality only. Uh, this phone runs a 1.2 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon 410 processor with 1 gigabyte of RAM. 8 gigs of built-in storage with around 3.5 to 4 gigabytes available to user and will support up to a 128 gigabyte micro SD card. Uh, this phone has an 1850 milliamp hour battery with around 10 hours of talk time and close to around 10 days of uh, standby time. Looking over to the Zone 3, now this phone also runs um, Android 5.1 Lollipop. This phone has a 4.5 inch display at 480 by 854 resolution at 218 pixels per inch. This phone also has a 5 megapixel camera on the rear with an LED flash, records in 720p. Uh, also has a 2 megapixel camera in the front that records in WVGA quality only. This phone runs a 1.1 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon 210 processor with 1.5 gigabytes of RAM, 8 gigs of built in storage, and will support up to a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. This phone has a 1940 milliamp hour battery that has around 11 hours of talk time and around 10 days of standby time. So when you look at these um, specs on both of these phones, other than the, um, the RAM and the um, processor, they're pretty much almost the same as far as camera quality features and, and stuff like that. So, um, and screen quality and stuff of that nature. So, we'll go ahead and look at the phones here. Um, they both look really nice. Uh, now, the Samsung has been out for over a year. This phone here was recently released not too awful long ago. And both can be removed from the back and the battery can be, re can be replaced. You got your Ford... The Verizon 4G LTE logos here, cameras up here, LED flash, speaker, uh, the speaker's on top, this is on the bottom. Um, of course, left side is your power buttons, right side is your, I mean, yeah, left side your volume rocker, right side is your power button, <laughs> and everything else. So, and they're opposite sides, top and bottom, top on, uh, earpiece is on top of the Samsung while it's on the bottom of the LG. So let's go ahead right now and do a power up test. Now, let them start up there and run some tests and look at things. Now, both of them are set at 50% screen brightness. However, uh, I was wrong when it came to the screen. I thought it would, may have been Super AMOLED. It's not. It's just a, I think it's a WVGA quality and it's not Super AMOLED. Um, but I gotta say, the screen on this thing looks really good compared to the LG. Uh, whenever these are powered on, they came on about the same time. I really wasn't looking, honestly. But I believe that the LG may have came on a slight bit faster than the uh, than the Samsung. Now neither one is here activated, uh, so we'll just go ahead and look through here. Yeah, push these buttons, airplane mode is on, all this stuff, blah blah blah. Now as you'll see, fifty percent brightness. <laughs> And, I mean, you can tell which screen looks the best. Um, the Samsung, in my opinion, has the best looking screen. It's sharper, more clear, more crisp. 
So while we're here, let's go ahead and get started in with the test. I got a number of little apps up here that we're going to start off with to see how this phone, how these phones react. So we're going to start off here with the calculator. Now, Samsung's a bit faster. Start with the calendar. Samsung again is a bit faster. Go to Chrome. But um, uh, I think the Samsung was a little bit faster on that one as well. Let's go ahead and go in here and we will go to Phone Arena, which is already in there. Uh, it's not in the LG, so we'll go ahead and type in Phone. I'll get the, I always mess up that one there. Okay, so now we got them pulled up. One, two, three, pow. So the Samsung was just a slight bit faster than the LG, but they both run very smooth without really any any lag at all. They both run very well. Let's go ahead and back out of here. And we'll go to the next one, which is the clock. Same time. Temple well, settings here. Samsung a little bit faster. Both of them run very well. I know no lag, no no issues. Uh, both of them are pretty similar. Go to Temple Run 2. I don't know why I keep on doing this for. I'll keep on telling it new. No, I don't want to sign nothing up. These are not my login name, so we'll wait now for them to load up and see which one starts off first. I would do a benchmark test. However, for some reason, I can't get it to work on the LG. So the LG is just a little bit behind the Samsung. So we'll start them when they come on. So, it's like I said, it's just a little bit behind. Both of them seem to work very well. Without any hiccups, really any issues. So we'll go ahead and stop there. Go into camera. And the LG slightly was faster. We'll take a picture here with the front facing camera just to see which one's faster. Pretty quick. Took a little longer to process on the Samsung. Both of them were pretty snappy and quick, as you see there. Going to the settings here again. And like I say, um, the screen quality is much better on the Samsung. Um, storage wise, you got, I said you got 8 gigabytes internal storage. Um, I'm not really sure if it tells. I got 3.2 gigabytes available on this phone here. Um, but total, I'm not really sure the total it says 404. Is miscellaneous files and three three eighty on the LG, so not really sure about that there. But anyway, uh, now whenever you look at these phones here, you'll see that you know, like I said, there's it's the four point three inch display versus four point five. Your touch buttons are down here on the Samsung on the body, while it's on screen on the LG. So when you line them up here, I'll go ahead and do it here. Uh, when you line them up, you'll see that the screen size is virtually the same size. Uh, when you discount the on-screen keys. So when you get a 4.5 inch display, when you have on-screen keys like this here, you're virtually getting a 4.3 inch display. Uh, the only way you get the full 4.5 is if you are watching videos where they're gone. So virtually, if you're using the phone, it says 5 inch display, you got a 4.8 if it has on-screen keys. So 4.3, 4.5, but with the buttons down here at the bottom, um, that helps out with the making the phone look bigger than what it really is and i like the way these here light up blue you can't really tell it on video but they light up really nice shade of dark blue which gives it a good looking color so we're back out of here now and we will go into the recent apps and we will start it up again with calculator about e about even there There we go again, about even. Back to Google. Unfortunately, I did not 
keep it on the website but anyway pretty much about the same again clock close too close temple run two while it resumed on the LG it had to restart again on the Samsung so I don't know why but yeah back to camera LG is a little bit faster settings and so there you have it I mean you got a phone here I mean they say you know that two tens are not that great well you got a 410 in the Samsung versus a 210 in the LG one gigabyte of RAM in the Samsung 1.5 gigabytes of RAM in the LG and when you're playing games when you're doing multifunctional stuff on this phone these phones both of them run really sort of similar I mean both of them are equally quick they you know they work pretty flawlessly and so far I've not seen any issue with either one of these phones uh, now price wise these phones right here right now are pretty cheap uh, at my local Walmart I seen it the other day for I think it was 40 bucks uh, 40 bucks out the door while the J1 they can range from $49.99 to 100 bucks just depends on where you buy them at that's because I believe that Samsung seems to for some reason hold their value better I don't know why but they are good phones. this is a really good phone the J1 is an awesome phone but so is the Optimus Zone 3. Now, battery life, I have told a big difference between battery life. Samsung seems to dominate over the LG. Sometimes the LG just goes dead for no reason. It can, it, it don't even have, even have to be on, and it'll, it'll just go dead sometimes. Um, so, yeah, what's the winner here? There's not one. It's, it's kind of a tie. I mean, yeah, I like the on-screen keys uh, on the body of the phone better with a little snap button here in the center for the home button. Screen quality is better. I've not tested both cameras out yet. Um, I like the 1.5 gigabytes, gigabytes of RAM in the LG. Um, but as far as call quality and everything else goes, it's about even. So it's pretty much whatever phone you really like better, Samsung or an LG. Because uh, both of them do work very well. So uh, anyway, I hope to touch that a little bit. If you've got any questions or comments about either one of these phones, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. If this was helpful in any way, give me that thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Hit that subscribe button down below and I'll get back and I would really surely appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. Stay tuned for the next video.